Now, would it make any sense if I wore this to my wedding? Would it make sense if I wore this to some fancy event? Of course not. So the same thing actually goes for fragrances. We have to build ourselves a nice fragrance wardrobe. Just like we have mini clothes for different events, different situations, different seasons, the same goes for your fragrances. So today I have fragrances that are gonna work for different seasons, different situations, different occasions. Let's talk about it. So first on the, on the list here, we're gonna talk about that just signature scent worthy fragrances that can just work in any situation, pretty much any season. Now I'm gonna start with a, really an honorable mention because you know, this is easy reach. This is none other than Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus. Man, what else can be said? This is one of the most talked about fragrances maybe even of all time at this point, you know, it's always talked about, but I mean, it's all about the pineapple, of course. You know, that's what everyone talks about has bergamot, black currant. Um, there's some patchouli and some, maybe some hints of rose in there. Um, in the dry down, there's some musk and some um, oak moss and some vanilla type of chords will come through. But it's just a nice fragrance for just any occasion. You can wear this any place, any time, um, you know, all seasons, it is just, and it's going to work. Mass appealing, compliment getting, that's creative Venice. Honorable mention, I'm not going to talk too much about it uh, because of the price, right? It costs you 250 bucks for a small bottle plus, right? And who wants to pay all that? So I would, instead of that, I would, if you don't want to spend the money, just go with this one right here by Man Sarah. This is Cedrat Boise. Man, Cedrat Boise. Beautiful magnetic cap. It, uh, man, you should give it a nice spray. Look at that. The itemizer, the spray is just so nice. And then the smell. My goodness. It's kind of in the same family as Creed Aventus. It's not a Creed Aventus clone. It goes its own direction. It has the woody, fruity notes. It has the citron, the lemon, the bergamot, the black currant, a little bit of mint is working on through there. It has a freshness, um, kind of a, the patchouli gives a little bit of an earthy accord, earthy tone to it. As it dries down, the vanillas and the musk will come out, the woods, the sandalwood. It is mass appealing. It is compliment getting. Um, you cannot go wrong with this. You can wear this all seasons, anytime, any place. This is going to work. And if you're going to build yourself a wardrobe, you need to have that nice um, cologne, that nice fragrance that can just work no matter what it's easy boom you can throw it on you don't have to think about is this gonna work is this gonna be too much too little this one is gonna work so so drop boise get your nose on it if you haven't had a chance um it'll run you about 65 to 90 dollars depending on um you know where you buy it at so that's to draw boise by man sarah um, next on the list is one that's going to be a summer scent. So as you're building your fragrance wardrobe, guess what? You know, it's going to get hot and you can't be just throwing on anything when it's 90 degrees outside and up. So I got for you, this is by Hermes. This is, uh, Eau de Vray. Eau de Vray. As you can see there, solid glass um type bottle um, and this right here is the definition of refresh of uh, cooling nice itemizer it is just such a cooling fragrance it is uplifting uh, especially on a hot just warm day it opens up with the citron 
it has the which is that lemon lime accord in the mid you're going to get some juniper berries you're going to get a salty fresh type of vibe as it goes as it develops um and then it has a little bit of a mineral accord and maybe some uh, woods as it gets into the base but man i'm telling you this one right here perfect for a hot day you can overspray this you know you can overspray uh, you don't have to worry about it it's gonna work for uh, just all those summer type occasions going to a cookout um, just going shopping hanging out with the family um, man you could wear this dressed up I wouldn't call it a dress up fragrance but just in terms of if it's really really hot and you want to be smelling good this right here it's gonna work so get your nose on this one by air mask this is oh you're right um next on the list we're gonna talk about another one that you can wear very versatile works in the summer um can kind of go pretty much year round as well and that's gonna be dior sauvage edt nice bottle um Got a magnetic cap here, as you can see. And this right here, it opens up. It's very fresh. It has some of the citruses and ambers in the opening, which is nice. Um, you'll get the bergamot and some spices, maybe from the peppers as well. Um, but the nice lavender comes through and it gives it a nice powdery, sweet accord to it, the woods. There's some ambroxin to give it a nice creaminess and it helps this thing, this thing last. Man, eight to 10 hours, no problem. Dior Sauvage EDT, you could definitely wear this. Um, I wouldn't wear it, as I said, to the mall. This is not the one you just, this is more semi-formal. Uh, definitely a work fragrance. You can wear this to work, but maybe as you go into a board meeting, a business meeting, an interview, this one will work very well in the interview. It's enough mass appealing. It's not too strong. Um, I wear this a lot when I'm meeting with the client. And um, you can wear this to church. Uh, this is a, maybe a button down shirt or a polo shirt at the very least type of fragrance. And it just works. So as you're building your wardrobe, you need these for these different situations that are going to come in your life. But yes, this will work in the summer and this even makes it into the fall. So get your nose on this Dior Sauvage uh, EDT. It will run you about $80 to $120 depending on the size. Okay, next on the list is as you're moving um, throughout the year, as you're getting into maybe like into the fall. Um, I would go with uh, Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Beautiful black with gold bottle. You see here with the Tom Ford uh, logo on it. Um, the cap is kind of a cheesy looking cap though, in my opinion. But man, this right here. Oh boy. I haven't worn this in a little while. This is more of one that you wear as you go into the fall and into the winter. It has the cardamom, the saffron, has the, some spices from the nutmeg in there. Little hint of orange in there, like an orange nutmeg dessert type of um, uh, smell to it. You get the resins, a gourmand, some gourmand type notes are in here. In the dry down, you get the vanillas, the ambers, the sandalwood. Man, they'll run you about between $100 and $140. But man, this just works. Man, this is very versatile. This is versatile for the winter and the fall. You can definitely, I don't know if I would, um, you definitely, yeah, this one, you can wear this to work. In the fall, I would wear it to work, uh, wear it to church. Uh, man, you could definitely dress this up too, man. You could dress this up and it's going to work with a suit and tie as well. This is not a gym set. Um, I probably wouldn't even... You can definitely wear it casually. Um, I, you can definitely do that, but I wouldn't go as casual as, you know, just throwing it on to the gym. I'd save those gym scents to ones like the Terra de Mez Eau de Vre, uh, Very light. Um, there's some other ones that I didn't really feature, but, you know... 
you have something like a Masani wave or something like that. I didn't really talk about this one, but something like that if you're going to just go to the gym, you just want to throw something on. So you want something light and fresh. Um, but anyways, back to what we're talking about. Uh, this is Tom Ford, Noir Extreme. Get your nose on it. Very, very good fragrance. Um, next on the list we'll talk about will be one from one of my favorites. Uh, this is by uh, Zhirzhov. This is Naxos. Man, if you're building yourself a wardrobe, a fragrance wardrobe, man, look at that bottle. Look at that color. Look at that. I mean, it's the glass bottle, the gold cap, solid gold cap. My goodness. <laughs> This is when you're not playing. You're not playing around. Um, the Noir, the uh, Tom Ford one, you can wear that on date night. But this right here is when you are like, this is that someone who's special right here. You wear this on that special date night. Dress this one up, man. Don't don't wear this to the mall. Don't wear this. I wouldn't even wear this. Don't wear this to work. That's not the one you wear to work, man. This is for that some special occasions, man. Uh, it's a fall winter type scent because it is it is strong but man the lavender the bergamot and the lemon in the opening and then the star of the show is the honey mixed with the cinnamon the tobacco the vanilla you know i didn't feature on this list um a Herod by Parfum de, Parfum de Marley. And, you know, it's one of my favorites. This is not, I'm not giving you guys my favorites of all time. I'm giving you how to build a wardrobe. And I could not leave this off the list. This right here is it right here for those type of occasions. It will run you $200 plus, dollars, about $215, maybe a little more. But it is worth every penny. I will do a review on some fragrances that will be for building a cheaper uh, wardrobe. But right now, this is for those who are serious and want to get yourself 10 fragrances or so that you can just use and be done. You're good to go. So next on the list is going to be another heavy hitter one. That is Tom Ford Oud Wood. Oud Wood. Man, look at the bottle. That black bottle. Man, I ain't wasting none of this. I'm not spraying this in the air. Whew. Boy. This right here... Man, if you all, this is another one that you wear, you would wear dressed up. It's another special occasion type one. It opens up with the oud, um, the nutty oud wood. It has this nice, the cardamom, um, it has this warm spiciness to it. It has the sandal wood, which gives it a nice, rich, creamy, ambery, leathery, Cord. It has vanilla. It has some tonka in it, and it is. It's. It is. If you are want an introduction in oud, this one is the one to get, because it's like a mass appealing type of oud. And this one, you can wear it dressed up, suit and tie, boom boom, date night. Ugh. This is another shut it down date night type fragrance. Um, you know, but you know, you could wear this one. I, I would say you could wear this one casually um i don't know if i'd wear it to work but man do what you want to do what makes you feel good test it out man it is not it doesn't it's not really heft it doesn't have a lot of heft in it like in terms of uh, last i don't know if it lasts super long to me it doesn't but man it is good it is the, the, the smell is just amazing top five my fragrance is of all time this one and Naxos are in the top five of all of everything in my collection. Get your nose on it. It will run you, you know, 200 plus dollars. So, you know, you're going to pay a pretty penny for it. Next one on the list. I think you got to have something that is just for something that you wear maybe once or twice a year. And that's going to be a Mason Francis Kirk John Grand Soir. Grand Soir. Look at that, look at that color, that gold, that orange-ish bronze type of color. It is a gorgeous bottle and the smell is there to back it up. Man, this is, uh, it opens up with the ambers. It has the, uh, the, the benzoin, 
that that resins like that that sap that sweet sticky sap from the the tree resins it has vanilla the tonka bean it has a nice almond and vanilla a little bit of tobacco in there but man it has some lavender um some labdomum which gives it the leathery amber accord man this is it's almost like a gourmand but man it is an amber if you like amber this is the definition of it right here this is what you wear to your a wedding you wear it to a wedding um maybe a fancy banquet you know special dinners um maybe a graduation i don't know about graduation but this is just a special fragrance for for me um some people might wear it all the time if you got it like that but this is a special occasion type of fragrance you can see i've not put hardly not a dent in there this is not one i waste uh, but if you catch the other my next video which will be afford more affordable fragrances to build your wardrobe maybe you'll find something you could use a little bit more liberally that will run you well over $200 in Grand Soir. Um, next on the list is as you go into, this is a nice spring scent. So we've gone over some summer, some fall, winter scents. Now these are kind of like some spring scents, but also this is gonna suit that old school. You gotta have an old school fragrance, right? This right here is Penhaligon's Satario or Satorial. Uh, nice little bottle, nice color juice there. Uh, yeah, very unique bottle. It, um, man, this is old school, man. It smells, but it's with a modern touch. I think I featured this in one of those videos. And it has, um, it's just, it's like a, a modern um, barbershop type fragrance. That's what this is. It features that that nice man. This the star of the show is the, the lavender and the honey in here. Those are the star of the show. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I featured it before, so catch that one. This will run you about hundred bucks, uh, maybe a little bit more, hundred to hundred and forty. So get your nose on this one. Nice old school. You gotta throw an old school one in there, man. You can wear this dressed up casually. You can it's very versatile in terms of that. More of a fall uh, winter into as you get into the um, spring, you can definitely still wear it. Maybe not a high heat fragrance, but man, that's your old school one. And then last but not least, I think you gotta have a bold fragrance. You gotta have that fragrance like like you know that you probably don't want to wear around a whole bunch of people because you know it's not mass appealing but this one is going to be sorry, i took the cap off but ganymede uh, this is ganymede right here ganymede gold bottle um this one is just different man it's just different it's a mineral suede it has a saffron in there it has immortel Accord in there, which is a kind of a honey tea type of accord. Um, has awesome madness in there, which gives it a nice uh, leathery, um, milky, apricot type of uh, vibe to it. The dry down, you get some spices and some woods, a little bit of oud, and it's just it can be really warm in a dry down, but it's definitely different, man. Run you about this size will run you about $130 for a small size up to 240 I think for the larger size so that's Ganymede it's um, definitely different but man I uh, get still get a lot of compliments for from that one so that's all I have as I just giving you all some fragrances to help build your wardrobe from spring summer fall winter to different occasions from weddings to graduation to special dinners to date nights to gym to casual to work so that's all I got for you. This is Marvin with Preaching Sense. I'm out.